Hey guys, Mr. Harris again. We're going to go through some line segment proofs is the lesson today. So uh, we've already been talking about algebraic proofs. Now we're actually going to relate it to what we've already learned in geometry about line segments. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so we have some properties. So go ahead and start writing these down. These are super important to remember. Reflexive property of congruence for any segment AB, and that's supposed to have a line over it, I believe, straight one. So it's uh, going to say something pretty, pretty duh. It's going to say uh, line segment AB is congruent to, well, line segment AB. Those are congruent to each other. Well, duh, Mr. Harris. Of course, AB is congruent to AB. Well, it actually gets into, um, it gets more important when we start talking about, uh, say, like triangles. So if we had a triangle like this, and then we had one line that goes through the middle, we're trying to relate this triangle over here to this triangle over here. And if this was AB, we could say, okay, well, AB to this triangle is the exact same line to this triangle over here. So AB is congruent to AB because it's the same line, okay? It's gonna be really important later. Symmetric property of congruence. I always remember this one because symmetric is like a mirror. It's, it's symmetric on one side to another. So if, um, let's say AB, line segment AB is congruent to line segment, uh, let's call that BC, okay? Then that also means that line segment BC is congruent to line segment AB. Now this one becomes really, really important whenever you get to the end of, um, end of a proof and it's asking you to prove that um, BC is congruent to AB. It's asking you to prove that, but whenever you got to the end of it, you ended up with AB is congruent to BC. Well, okay, that's not true. Uh, you haven't proved that BC is congruent to AB yet. You've only proved that AB is congruent to BC. Only because of the symmetric property of congruence can you actually say, Okay, well, BC is congruent to AB. So for this one, it would be um, BC is congruent to AB. And then you would list the uh, property of symmetric, symmetric property. Okay. Transitive property. Now, we've already talked about transitive property. I actually uh, made the video about the uh, law of syllogism, which is very similar to the transitive property. It's just AB. Is if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C, right? So that's the same thing, but we have to say for congruence, right? If you've noticed at each one of these, see we have the congruent symbol, we have the congruent symbol, we have the congruent symbol. We're not using equal symbols because these are properties of congruence, not properties of equality. Properties of equality is with the equal sign, and that's normally talking about distance or values or numbers, while congruence is talking about line segments or angles. Those are congruence. So transitive property of congruence. And so if AB is congruent to BC and BC is congruent to CD, therefore, AB is congruent to CD, okay? Uh, excuse my terrible handwriting, guys, but I'm trying the best that I can with, with this uh, tablet here. So that's our uh, some of the properties. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one are, are definitions. So these are definitions that you should know, but we actually have to use them in our proofs as um, uh, a way that we prove them. What is it called? A... Uh, a reason, a reason of how we're getting to the next step. Okay, so the definition of congruence. Segments are only congruent if and only if they have the same measure. So we can only say that they are congruent if the distance, so let's say that the distance between A to B is equal to the distance from, say, C to D. Okay, well, because those distances are equal to each other, we can then say that the line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD, okay? And you can say the same thing about angles too. So if you have the 
measurement of angle A is equal to the measurement of angle B, then um, angle A is congruent to angle B, right? So that's with angles. So these are related to each other only because of the definition of congruence. Now the definition of midpoint, the midpoint of a segment divides the segment into equal congruent parts. So if M is the midpoint of AB, so we, let's just draw a little picture right here. So we got M is the midpoint of A, or M right there in the middle, B. What uh, can we say about this? Well, that really means that um, AM is going to be congruent to MB, right? And that's what the definition of the midpoint is. And if you wanted to say something about their lengths, you would have to use the definition of congruence, right? To go backwards and say, okay, well, because they are congruent, they have the same values. So AM is equal to MB. Segment addition postulate. Okay, so this is um, one of the new ones. We, we've talked a lot about segment addition postulate. If A and B, C are collinear and B is between A, B, then so that's talking about distances. Okay, so now um, using those postulates using those properties of equality, properties of congruency, definition of congruence, definition of midpoint and segment addition postulate. I want you guys to go through the examples that I have over there on the right and uh, try and pick out which one is which. And um, if you get stuck on a couple of them, totally fine. In my next video that I have, I'm going to be listing the answers out for you guys. So I really want you to try hard on them um, and, and try and match them correctly to what to what you think that it should be. Here is a list of all of the ones that we've gone over so far. But as a little cheat code, remember, if it is um, an equal sign, it's probably gonna be on this left here. It's probably going to be on the left column here because that's a property of equality, equal sign. And on the right here, it's the uh, congruence. So if it has the congruent symbol, right, the uh, little squiggly, remember, that's going to be a property of congruency, most likely. So go ahead and give that a try, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.